not see anything. I think we have. Are you there, Happy Hearts Kids? Imagine what it would be like if you were blind. We're going to find out about that in our story today. But let's go find Happy Cats for some singing. Hello, Happy Hearts Kids. So good to see you again. And we are very excited to be sharing that story Zana was talking about before. But first, we're going to give you a big hug. Put your arms out. One, two, three. Three. Ah, oh, that's much better, isn't it? I love singing this song with you, Lessa. Let's sing our theme song together. Are you ready to do the actions with me? So see if you can follow along. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father. your ribbon as well. I wonder what colour it's going to be. Let's sing it together now. He made so many beautiful things for us, including the rainbow. Now, today's colour, are you ready what it is? It's rainbow! So, lots of beautiful colours in our sensory box. I wonder how many things you can spot. another sensory story boys and girls now this story starts as Jesus was walking with his disciples one day down a road and he stopped as he was walking he noticed that there was a man that had been blind from birth can you imagine that boys and girls can you imagine never seeing a pretty flower or trees or even knowing what an animal looks like? He would not have even seen the face of his mum and dad. 
he has been in complete darkness his whole life. Isn't that sad? So when the disciples saw this man, they asked Jesus this question. Who was so bad in his family that he has been born blind? You see, boys and girls, the disciples thought that the blind man was blind on purpose because of something done very wrong in his family. That doesn't sound right, does it? But this is what Jesus said. Neither this man or his parents have sinned, but this happened so that the works of God can be displayed in him. We must do the works which God has sent me to do. Why I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now you might think, boys and girls, that it was a little bit odd of what Jesus did next. He made some mud on the ground with his saliva and rubbed it together. And then he put the mud on the man's eyes. Let's put the mud on his eyes. Oh, he put the mud that he made on the man's eyes. And then he said, go, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And so this is what the man did. He found his way to the pool of Siloam and he went in and he washed his eyes with water. Now let's wash all the mud off. He washed his eyes and what do you think happened next boys and girls? I can see for the very first time. Can you imagine what it must have been like? After all this time, he opened his eyes, seeing sky for the first time, and water, and trees, and people. It must have been truly amazing. So he went home seeing for the very first time. It was so exciting. And when he arrived to where he lived, the neighbors looked and they they're looking at each other and they looked again surely this can't be can it be true that the man that has been begging for such a long time can see isn't he the one who used to sit and beg all day long can it be true he can see oh it was all so amazing to them some neighbours even insisted that he just looked like the beggar that had been there a long time and it wasn't really him at all. But we know it was the man. And do you know the man said, yes, he was so joyful. Yes, yes, it is I. It is I, the same man you knew before. I am healed. I can see. Who did this? How were your eyes opened, they said. The man, the man they called Jesus made some mud on my eyes and he told me to go to the pool of Siloam and wash so I went and I washed and then I could see oh he was so happy don't you think that is so wonderful boys and girls that Jesus saw the needs of this poor man and that he healed him out of the kindness of his heart to show the glory and power of God. What an amazing God that truly cares for his people and does not wish suffering on anyone. We serve a wonderful God who cares, don't we? And that is something in the world we live in today that people need to hear. God is someone who cares about everything. And he wants you to know today, boys and girls, that he is a God of love. What a beautiful story of healing. I hope you really enjoyed that sensory story. It really shows God's character, doesn't it? Of how loving he is towards everybody. Did you know that our hearts have eyes too? That may sound a little bit silly, but let me explain. 
when you see somebody that isn't feeling very well or has maybe hurt themselves falling over, when we see with our hearts, we want to help them, don't we? And that's what God is talking about in the story too. So I want you to remember that in your hearts today. Isn't it fun to create together? You know our ultimate creator, which is God. That's where all our creativity comes from, isn't it? So let me show you what we're going to need for our beautiful picture today. I have some red and pink paint. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but you might have some other colors that you would like to use. So that's there ready for our picture. I also have a nice big piece of card to use. Um, you, again, you might like to just use some paper. And then I've got another little piece of hard card. And it's important that you use a hard card for this particular piece. And you'll see why a little bit later. We have our paintbrush and our uh, plate here to put our paint on. And let's see what else is in our craft box that we're going to need. We're going to need some sticky tape and we're going to need scissors. So be careful with the scissors as always. A marker to write our special message on. Then we have some colorful band-aids that we're going to use so you might have some different sizes and colors to use for that then we have some glue we have some little wooden colorful pegs now you might just have the other pegs to use they may work too so just give them a go and see how you go with that one and then we have some pattern paper and we love using this because it's so colorful isn't it so your patterns might be a little bit different to mine and that's okay and then we have some googly eyes and of course the glitter never too much glitter so that's going to be on our beautiful picture too last but not least is what is it boys and girls it's our beautiful love heart and i haven't got one out of my jar today so let's get one of those out quickly for our picture here it is right here and that's everything we need i think we're ready to go so are you ready to get started with our picture now super special in God's family. I'm bright and sparkly, a little messy too. But Jesus loves me and he loves you. Jesus loves me So you can see it's looking nice and sparkly now, isn't it? And can you see that the eyes open and close to help you remind about the story we learned today? And I have a special message at the top that you can write on yours too that says, God heals. So have fun creating that one together. I can't wait to see your picture. I know you're going to love it. Are you ready to pray with me now, boys and girls? Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. 
Dear Jesus, we thank you for this story of showing how much love you have for others. And we ask that you help us to open our eyes and see the needs of others that we can help too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, it's our sharing time now where we get to show all your beautiful masterpieces that you've been making during the week. And we had lots of them sent in from last week. We'll be showing those to you in just a minute. So after you have completed today's, ask mum or dad to take a photo of it and send it in to us at Happy Heart so we can share it because we love seeing them. So remember boys and girls to ask Jesus to open your eyes to watch out for others that may be in need of your help this week. And remember also kids that you are God's masterpiece. See you next week. In a sun can, a blob of paint and glue is making me brand new. Jesus loves me and he loves you. Jesus loves me with all his art. Fills me with a happy, happy heart. He's making me a masterpiece. I trust in Jesus. He loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus, he loves me.